Having a dark, narrow hallway is one of the biggest homeowner's gripes. In the UK especially, there is so many Victorian terrace houses. It's a very iconic part of Britain, but they do come with unsurprisingly very small hallway spaces. And this was my own Victorian terrace hallway that was dark, uninviting, super damp, and made me not want to step through the front door when I got home. So I'm going to share with you my exact before and after of this Victorian terrace hallway and I'm also going to share with you some actionable tips that you could put into action in your own small hallway to make it have the illusion of a larger and much brighter space. When we moved into our property, as you can see, the predominant feature was grey literally everywhere. There was glass panels and a door that was inhibiting light throughout the flow of the hallway. I'll share the link below to the blog that tells you everything that we did, but basically a lot of it was to do with structural um, work to begin with. We made sure that the door was removed, the two glass panels which are stopping the flow of light was, and of course all that grey skirting and architraves had to go. We completely started from scratch, we stripped the floor, um, we laid new flooring, new skirting, and we painted everywhere a lovely just neutral white to get it gone. Um, but as you can see, this is how the hallway looks now. When it comes to styling your hallway, there's a number of different clever tricks that you can do to make your hallway feel a little bit larger. My first top tip is do not use large furniture. I see way too many people plonking massive console tables in a narrow hallway just so they've got space to put stuff on and style it accordingly. The problem with plonking a massive console table is it affects the flow of traffic through your hallway. And if you already have a very narrow space, it's gonna make the space feel even more inferior and difficult to walk past. There are still solutions that you can have a little area to style without affecting the flow of traffic in your hallway. So for us, we have a radiator. Um, I looked at radiator covers, but I'm personally not a huge fan of using them in an interior unless I absolutely have to. Um, radiator covers can sometimes be just as much money as replacing with a beautiful cast iron radiator. And in my preference, I would prefer to do that. Um, but for us, um, we were just trying to do an affordable renovation and to make it look as beautiful as possible. As you can see, we placed a plank of wood um, directly on top of the radiator. Basically, it just draws the eye in, it detracts it slightly from the radiator, whereas it doesn't protrude much more than the radiator. So it's giving us a little bit of shelf space to style and make the area look nice. But it's absolutely not impacting on the flow of traffic through the space at all. Tip two, always, always use a mirror in your hallway space. It is that number one element that will reflect and bounce around the available light and it's going to give the illusion of a larger space. When it comes to choosing a mirror, I personally love round mirrors. I think the curve really brings an overall softness to the space and they really suit a wide range of decor schemes. Either opt for a black frame for that added definition or bring in some brass details, especially if you're pairing some darker colors such as navy blue or dark green with your color scheme. Us, for example, here, we actually got this um, beautiful vintage mirror from my partner's mum and um, we just painted it in um, a light sage green colour which actually pairs with our doors um, throughout our home um, but as you'll see it is a large mirror and when it comes to a small hallway a lot of people think you need to play it small you absolutely don't um, what actually happens when you put something that's too small into the space it makes the space feel even more inferior and then they'll create a large amount of empty or dead space around that mirror. So for us, the large mirror elevates the space because it draws the eye up because it is, is a really tall and large mirror. And because it's got the detail, it's got a little bit of a vintage touch to it. It just brings that depth and overall character, which makes the space really inviting. And obviously having a small, narrow hallway, filming it comes with the territory. It's super difficult to film a small, narrow hallway. But anyway, um, when it comes to photography or artwork, absolutely add some but you're gonna to need to be a little bit careful about placement. So unless you have that large hallway space, always stick to um, artwork on one wall because it's gonna draw the eye in. If you have it on two sides, it's gonna detract your eyes and it's gonna make the room feel really claustrophobic and busy. So anyway, what we've gone for here, if you've just gone for some really simple, beautiful black frames of sage green um, pops of color in that because it works with the colors that we have throughout our doors and we place them at height where there's a little bit of the section above it, but not too low that it makes the hallway feel small. Um, Cause the trick that we're trying to play here is that it's gonna draw your eye up as you step through the door. 
So when you're choosing artwork, go for larger pieces rather than lots of small pieces in sort of the gallery wall. I think gallery walls work really well in certain spaces, such as ascending with the stairs. But when you are just stepping through that front door, you don't want someone's eyes to just continually dart around and to be overwhelmed with all of the colours. So for me, I would place a couple of beautiful prints um, and try to use the colours within the artwork that actually pairs with other colours throughout the space. Okay, let's talk about lighting in a hallway. A lot of people may already have an existing pendant light feature in their hallway, which is very common. So my biggest piece of advice is you don't want a pendant light that is too large and hangs too low. Um, because what's going to happen there is it's actually going to make the space feel smaller. You don't want people to knock their head on it. And there's just a time and a place for really large pendants. And the hallway, if it is small, that's certainly not the place. But you do want something with a little bit of a drop. Um, if you are going for pendant lighting, I love something like this rattan pendant light that, that I've got featured here. This is from Oliver Bonus. Um, there's a lot of benefits of rattan. Um, super affordable in comparison to sort of enamel pendant lights. Um, but not only that, they add such a beautiful softness to the space. Um, they're ultra relaxed yet really stylish. And it works really well with a sort of a modern or a rustic, modern rustic or Scandinavian interior style and we've actually got rattan featured throughout the house so if you do love rattan add one to your hallway it's instantly going to make the space feel a little bit lighter and totally relaxed which is what you want when someone steps through your front door if you have a really dark narrow hallway which is quite long you might want to look at something such as track lighting i really like track lighting because it provides targeted lighting at those really dark areas that you actually can't reach with just a pendant light. Um, and there's loads of affordable options of track lighting on the market. I really like black track lighting because it just brings that touch of modernity to a space um, and overall sort of definition, especially against sort of a neutral colour scheme. So yeah, runner rugs. My biggest tip for runner rugs is you're never ever going to run it up to say the threshold of the door and to the next door. You always need to leave around 15 to 30 centimetres of space between that threshold and to where you start it because else it's just going to look stupid, okay? Um, long runner rugs, loads on the market. Um, a few of my favourite places for rugs are Cocoon. Um, Cocoon are fantastic, super affordable, get next day delivery. Um, and they've got a huge range of sort of Persian Oriental style rugs, a little bit similar to what to what I have here as well. I love La Redoute for their rugs. And if you're feeling a little bit more spenny, um, a place like Weaver Green is fantastic. Absolutely stunning Berber style rugs. Um, and they've got some gorgeous patterns and styles. And I really think a runner rug is so simple, but it's a functional... It's both a functional and aesthetically beautiful piece that can transform a hallway immediately. Uh, but just be careful about the colours you're using in that rug and, and make sure that you are using those similar colours throughout your hallway as well, because it's just going to make it a much more cohesive um, and it's going to tie the space together. Just to recap before I close this video off, the top ways to transform your hallway from a dark, narrow space into a much lighter, brighter and open space include adding a long runner rug to introduce colour, and depth to the space is also going to elongate the hallway. Secondly, introduce a mirror. It will bounce around the available light and it's going to give the illusion of a larger space. Only use wall art on one side of the wall. It's not going to detract the person's attention while you enter, but it's going to give that little bit of definition and elevation to the wall. Think carefully about what furniture you use in your hallway space. A console table will block the flow of traffic but think about introducing something like a radiator cover or a plank of wood instead. That's just going to give you that little bit of shelf space to style accordingly. When it comes to pendant lighting, don't go for anything with a long drop and think about using softer materials such as rattan. But if you've got a very dark space, you might want to look at investing into something like track lighting, which is going to put targeted lighting onto those areas of space that just don't see the light of day. From a structural point of view, if you are able to do the sort of renovation like we did, Look at doorways and glass panels that may be obstructing the flow of light because removing these can absolutely open up your narrow hallway and make it feel like such a light and brighter space almost instantly. And just a full word on colour, bright white is not the best colour for a hallway. You might think it's going to make it feel instantly brighter, but if you've actually not got a lot of natural light in that area, it's going to make the, the area feel even darker. Um, it's also not a great colour for 
a heavy traffic household if you've got children and pets as it literally shows every single mark instead opt for something um like an off-white which has got yellow based undertones because it's going to help counteract um the blue light which is associated with dark spaces and also north facing rooms but don't be afraid to introduce color in beautiful accents throughout the space such as sage green light blues purples and don't forget a black accent because it's going to define that space and it's going to bring a touch of modernity with it as well. If you like this video, I've also got a whole blog post on this topic, um, which you can head over to after watching this video. I've left it in the comments below. If you've got any other comments or need advice on your hallway, please drop me a comment below um, and I'll come back. I absolutely love helping people um, with their interior style conundrums. Please hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Bye.